Hello there everyone! Today I will show you my 5 tips for beginners. If you like this idea, leave a like and subscribe to help me grow. Before we even start, we have to generate our world. If you didn't know, you can preview what your world will look like after clicking options. Also, you can change seed, and that's option that we will focus on. For a much easier start, you should aim for resources that are not touching with each other, so they won't be mixed by the drills. To start your base, you need a lot of coal and iron. So, my tip is... First, build your coal drills to output items to next drill. With this, they will never run out of coal, and you can always take some of it by pressing CTRL and left mouse button on them. Second, when building iron mines or copper mines, Attach furnaces directly to drills. That way, you need only to provide coal to them by hand or burner inserters. And voila! Fast and cheap bulk production of resources. Oh, and don't forget about stone drills. You will need a lot of it for your smelters. When it comes to steam engines and boilers, I saw a lot of my friends struggling with those. One popular strategy is to maintain a ratio of two engines to one boiler. This ratio ensures that your power generation system is optimized for maximum efficiency and output. In addition to maintaining this ratio, it's also important to consider the types of inserters you use to fuel your boilers. While electric inserters might seem like the obvious choice, burner inserters can actually be more efficient in certain situations. One key advantage of burner inserters is that they can refuel themselves when they run out of coal. For me, when I'm building my early base, I always create this small main bus with iron and copper. By this, I can easily produce anything, using simple assembler pattern. Just look at it, it's simple, yet effective starting point for you. In any large-scale production, creating a streamlined and efficient factory is essential for your success. One of the key components to achieving this is by carefully planning and projecting your assemblers. By doing so, you can ensure that your factory is easily expandable and can be replicated in other areas of the world. With a blueprint in hand, you can then easily copy and paste different parts of the factory as needed. This is especially useful when expanding production of particular item or resource, as you can simply add in additional assemblers without having to replan the entire production line. <laughs> 